there are three types of stains which fall into two categories. Primary efflorescence, which is salt efflorescence and lime efflorescence, and secondary efflorescence, which is gypsum efflorescence. So as we can see in this video, when it rains, a brick absorbs water into its pores. A brick also absorbs water from the mortar, and minerals and small gypsum particles dissolve in the water, which are then transported through the brick pores. Then once the facade starts to dry, the water evaporates, drawing the minerals to the face of the brick, where they become visible as a white substance discoloration. So looking at the capillary action of a traditional brick, you can see how the brick pores act similarly to a sponge and suck up and absorb the water that is then transported into the body of the brick. When a brick is coated during production, the pores of the brick can be coated with consistency, which ensures that the main faces of the brick become water repellent, while still allowing time for the brick to breathe, just like a Gore-Tex raincoat. So this type of coating is a silicon water-based, environmentally friendly product with a low VOC rating and is UV resistant. So the coated brick can be handled by for construction in the usual way once it's been delivered on site and any unused bricks can be stored and recycled in the usual.